Hi, how are you doing? Good, Peter. How are you? I am well. I'm well. Um, I guess just what were your overall impressions of, of what you saw today and players who maybe stood out as a little more ready than others? Um, I mean, we were impressed as a group. Um, they had a great day yesterday off the ice. Uh, the, the fitness testing was was really uh, uh, really well done by everybody. And then on the ice today, um, I don't think there's any individuals that stood out. I think we were just happy with the, the group as a whole. Um, they, they had a good seat, uh, probably an hour and a half on the ice and uh, everybody uh, is in top shape. This is usually we get them in July and they're in the mid season or uh, mid summer form. And uh, this time of year, they're, uh, they're at the top of their game. So it's, uh, it's exciting for us uh, uh, to see. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, thanks for doing this. Uh, Nate Clerman, obviously he was uh, a kid that grew up here in the area and went to Culver and then Notre Dame. And you, you, you guys drafted him late, but obviously signed him last year and he came out of college. Uh, I want to get your overall thoughts. It would seem the team is really higher on this guy. Yeah, Nate's, uh, you know, it's always great, a home, uh, home state guy. Uh, we watched him closely at Notre Dame. And then uh, um, he came out and had some, some time with the Eagles last year, which, which is always an advantage uh, when you're going into your first pro year to get those, uh, those few weeks with the American League team. And, uh, and he adjusted very quickly. Uh, he looked really good with the Eagles. Had an injury that uh, ended his season. Uh, didn't get uh, any playoffs, but uh, overall uh, strong. Um, he's put on uh, uh, a lot of muscle this summer, and he's looked good on the ice. Uh, moving around, we did a lot of movement today for the D and the footwork, and uh, you know he was one of the top guys that way. So uh, we're we're expecting a um, a good uh, rookie campaign for him, and excited to to have him. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Brian, um, I wanted to ask you the significance of this camp. Obviously, you want to get the get a look at these guys, but also for people who haven't been here before. Is it sort of an adjustment to see what it's what they need to do to be a pro? Exactly. Um, the significance is, is is huge. Having this uh, little development camp before our rookie camp. Uh, generally, the rookie camp is is very short, and we get right into the rookie tournament, so we don't get a lot of time to go over content. Um, so these three days, uh, we're really just going over uh, habits, characteristics, things that we do here in Colorado, and how to how to, how the Avalanche play. So. Um, a lot of them, like you said, haven't been exposed to, to any of us, uh, even some of our draft picks from, from years ago, someone like Jean-Luc Foudy um, hasn't even been here. So it's, uh, it's, it's great that we get this time with them, um, get them exposed, and uh, they're receiving it well. So it's, uh, we're excited uh, to be able to have this. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, hey, Brian, I wanted to ask for guys like Bowen Byram and Alex Newhook that are, you know, primed to play NHL games this year, just what could they benefit from a development camp prior to training camp? Um, I, I think it's a competitive advantage for them. Um, you know, they're getting into, we call it live bullets. They're, they're in uh, games next weekend and, and heading into the NHL training camp. They've, uh, they've already had uh, 10, 12 days of, uh, of full high pace action. So, um, anytime you can get that before you go into to an NHL training camp, it's an advantage for them. Um, they'll get some game time next week in uh, uh, in Arizona. So uh, following that, they'll be uh, they'll be primed and ready for day one of NHL camp with the uh, with the big big club. We'll take two more here for Brian. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey Brian, uh, when Oscar Olison was uh, drafted, uh, he said that he, he plans on going back to Europe and plan this next year, and then you guys sign him. I'm just curious, can you speak of where he might play next season or this season, I mean, uh, um, or is that something, a question for Joe or Jared? Yeah, that'd be a question for, for Joe and Jared. We're just, we're super excited to have him here at camp. Um, you know, having the development camp this late, we obviously lose out on our NCAA uh, prospects and our European prospects, but uh, to be able to sign him and get him in this, and, and like I said in that earlier answer, to expose them what we're all about, um, our habits, our characteristics, the way we play the game, uh, just to get him in here um, and not having a, a development camp after draft. It's, it's a huge advantage for him and, and just for us to get eyes on him. And, and where he lands after training camp, uh, yeah, it, it uh, remains to be seen. And last one here, Peter Bali Athletic. Yeah, Brian, Shane Bowers, I, I was wondering how you thought he looked. And um, it, have you seen any noticeable changes in him from maybe when you saw him at the end of last season to now? 
Yeah, yeah Shane, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's had a great uh, first few years pro, definitely put on some muscle. Um, and that's what we asked him. Um, he, he's got a, you know, he's got a hockey player body, but just uh, needed to put on some, some more muscle and stronger over the puck. And he's done that. Um, he's, he's a leader in this camp now, having the, having the few years pro under his belt. Um, he's kind of uh, embraced that role with the young guys around here. So we're excited to see how he does in Arizona and then going to, into training camp. There's, uh, you know, there's, there's guys who, who move quickly uh, through the, through the uh, minor pro and in the NHL, and there's guys that take a little bit long for development, but uh, his development curve is trending the right way, and uh, we're excited to see him in Arizona, and then and then when uh, main camp starts. All right, thank you, Brian. And thanks, everybody. Ask about the changes you've noticed going from the European game to to now, obviously, your first day of development camp on the ice. What what changes did you notice, and then also? Wanted to ask about if you know kind of your destination next year for where you're going to play. Yeah, yeah it's tough. Uh, the time is uh, change. Uh, it's like eight hours back from home, uh, so it was tough. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm in now and uh, everything feels uh, good. Uh, and I think I'm going to play with uh, Barry after the camp. Uh, we will see. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. I was going to ask kind of that same question, Oscar, but. Uh... If you do go back to Europe, has that team already started playing? Yeah, they start playing in like 10 days, but they have uh, started to, tr to play like training games. Any other questions for Oscar? Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Oscar, I wanted to, you were in a group with Alex Newhook. What was it like working with him, knowing that just a few months ago he was playing in an NHL playoff games? Yeah, he's a very good player and a good guy, uh, and it's nice to compete uh, with him in the, on the ice. So, yeah, very, very nice to compete with him and see him on the ice. Can and I then, the, oh, sorry, 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 Daniel. And then it looked like in that last drill, especially, there was a lot of physicality. How did you feel you reacted to that, and how did you think you did in, in that drill at the very end? Uh, now on the ice, or what do you mean? Yeah, on the ice, the one where it, they were like, one guy would pass it in and you guys were kind of fighting for the puck at the end. Um, yeah, uh, it was tough. Uh, I have to adapt to the altitude. Uh, it's tough now in the beginning and I haven't been on ice for like one and a half week. So yeah, it's tough, but yeah, it's nice to compete and do it again. And last two here for Oscar, Cali Parmalee, avalanche.com. Hi, Oscar. With this being your first camp with the Avalanche, kind of how did you think the first day of on-ice work uh, with the, the new organization went? Very good. Uh, it's a very good city, Denver. I like it so much. Uh, it's nice to meet all the guys and all the training stuff. So, yeah, very good. And last one here in my chamber, Denver Post. Hey, Oscar, I just want to confirm. I'm sorry, my previous question was a little short, but uh, it... it Right now, the, the plan is to go up and play in Barrie, but is, is it possible that you might go back to Europe? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I think uh, Colorado wants me to go to Barrie. Uh, but yeah, Colorado, uh, they, they own me and can do what they want. Um, even though you're only 20 years old, I would think that coming into another camp here, uh, the level of your comfort level is, is pretty high. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, I think um, I've been lucky enough to be with the organization for a few years now. Um, been through a couple of development camps and then spent the year here last year. So I'm comfortable with everyone. Everyone um, knows me. So it, it kind of makes it a lot easier on me. Um, I remember when I first came in, just being kind of nervous around everybody, not, not knowing names or anything. So it's definitely a lot nicer now. Peter Bob, the athletic. Hey, Bo, good to see you. Um, I was wondering, how was off-season training and where did you spend most of it? And like, were there any other NHL guys you trained with in this off-season? Uh, yeah, I was in um, the Vancouver area. We have a pretty good group there. Uh, Gallagher, Lucic, Stetcher, um, Ty Smith, to name a few. So we got a solid group. Um, we work hard and we have a lot of fun. So it, it makes everything really enjoyable when you, you got to get a good group of guys to uh, hang out with. Um, so it, it was a fun summer. I feel like I improved and I'm ready to go now. Heather Rall, DNVR. 
Hey, Bo, uh, regarding the summer, um, is there anything just getting a taste in the NHL that you felt like you really needed to focus on this summer or that the organization felt like you want, they wanted you to focus on this summer? Oh, yeah, I think there's always things you can do to get better at um, as, uh, as long um, with kind of contributing to, to what you do well. So it's kind of a happy medium you got to find. I mean, I'm, I'm still just trying to get my feet wet, you know, get comfortable in the NHL. Uh, this is basically my, my first year. So I'm just trying to prove myself and uh, come into camp in, in good shape and, and sharp and be ready to go. Peter Bond, The Athletic. Yeah, Bo, I also just wanted to check, how are you doing both, I guess, physically and mentally after this this past year with, obviously there were some ups and downs with injuries and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I, I feel great, better than I've felt um, in a long time. It was good to have some some time off in the summer to, to make sure that, uh, all my injuries got taken care of properly, and I was uh, 100% going into to the season. Um, so it was uh, definitely some uh, time that I needed just to kind of reboot my system. But I feel great now, and I'm ready to go. One more here for Bo Evan Rall of DNVR. Yeah, Bo, um, you know, given you weren't able to play a ton of games in the year last year, and then you know, with the pandemic and everything, just the last 18 months have been a little weird. Are you looking forward to, I guess, just getting a head start? before camp on playing a little bit more games in this rookie tournament to get going? Yeah, for sure. Like I kind of touched on, I I didn't really totally get a, a full year in last year um, with injuries and everything. So um, I'm, I'm treating this as my first full year and uh, I I want to come in with the attitude to, to make the team and be in the lineup every night, uh, contributed, contributing in a successful way. So um, that's been my goal all summer. And now that I'm here, I'm just trying to uh, kind of put that to work um, but yeah, I am grateful to, to be here a bit early, um, get some skates in at altitude, and then we have the rookie tournament. So it'll be nice to get in some games again. It's, it's been a while since I've been able to do that. So um, yeah, I think everything's, everything's been positive so far and uh, just trying to get myself up to speed. All right, thank you both. Thanks, guys.